Hi, I'm Bill, and this is In the Library. To paraphrase Stephen King, to be a good writer is to be a good reader. For me, this not only means reading different genres of writing, but also different styles of writing, including scripts. So today, we take a quick look at The Complete Faulty Towers by John Cleese and Connie Booth. So come on in, take a seat, and let's turn some pages. Faulty Towers was a 1970s British sitcom made famous in the U.S. thanks to PBS. Set at a small hotel run by Basil and Sybil Faulty, it explores the antics of the staff and guests. Starring John Cleese, also known for Monty Python, it is a comedy of the highest order, sometimes, and even usually, bordering on farce. What are your memories of Faulty Towers? Let me know in the comments. And while you're there, please leave a like and subscribe. All of this is free to do. You'll get one if you eat up all your sprouts. <laughs> this book, written by Cleese and Connie Booth, who played Polly on the show, incorporates all the scripts for both seasons, or as the Brits say, series. It is fun to read, staging the action in your head. That's one reason why I like to read scripts, to use my imagination to stage the show. I can also learn to write better dialogue, using the scripts as an example. This is especially true of comedies, which tend to be very dialogue heavy. One thing that sets this collection apart from other books of this kind is that there is no extra material, except for a few pictures, screenshots really, of the show. And I'll show you one here, like this. Usually in books like this, there's some essays about the history of the show or some sort of stories from behind the scenes. But that's not the case here. Cleese and Booth just give us the scripts. And that is all. And that's just fine. There are plenty of other books and whatnot with that kind of information, written by Cleese and others. For this read, the scripts are all we need. We don't need the book to be filled with extra stuff. In the book, the scripts are published in the order they were aired, with a note on which episode and series to which that episode belongs. Being that the scripts are dialogue heavy and almost devoid of stage directions, it is a fairly quick read, even at 333 pages. If you're familiar with the show, you will easily be able to remember all the action. To be honest, I don't think I've seen every episode. But a lot of this did seem familiar, and I loved it. If you're a Faulty Towers fan, you will love this book. If you just like simply reading scripts and enjoy comedy, this book is also for you. What are your thoughts on script reading? Let me know below. For more book reviews, check out this playlist right here. Thank you as always for watching, and as always, please keep on reading.